Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Caden Kubler and welcome to Caden's Corner. Caleb Williams has officially arrived and he's been playing some tremendous football. Now everyone started to panic after a slow start from Williams. You saw what CJ Stroud did last year as a rookie quarterback and we're seeing what Jaden Daniels is now doing this year, a guy that went right after Caleb Williams in the draft. And Williams did start a little slow. He was uncomfortable in the pocket. He didn't trust his timing like he did in college and it showed. And you could tell a lot of the maneuvers Williams was doing in college weren't working in the pros right away. This stout defense had to pull this rookie quarterback along, and now this offense is finally figuring it out. Caleb Williams has officially arrived with the Bears, and they've looked really good over the past few weeks. Over the last three games, the Bears are 2-1, and one, and this offense has put up 81 total points. And Caleb has looked really good during this stretch. He's had two 300-yard passing games, and you can tell he's looked a lot cleaner in the pocket. And I think there are a few different things that are contributing to this. Through the first few weeks of the season, this run game was abysmal. They couldn't get anything going with DeAndre Swift and this offensive line wasn't helping. But over the last two weeks, DeAndre Swift in this run game has really gotten a lot better. And obviously, if you don't have a run game to bank on for a rookie quarterback, it makes it so tough when the defense is just able to tee off on Caleb Williams every single play. Another thing that's been contributing to this is the fact that they've played two mediocre defenses in the Rams and the Panthers. It's great for Williams to see these easy defenses early on in the year so he can pick up this confidence with the pro speed. And then finally, it's just Caleb trusting his process, trusting his timing in the pocket. At USC, we saw so often he'd be pressured right away, he'd have to roll out and make dazzling plays. But in the NFL, it's so predicated on going through your progressions. If number one's wide open, you hit him. If he's not open, go through your progression from two to three and so on. And it's been great that he's been able to see these mediocre secondaries and evolve with his trust in the pocket because he still has to catch up to this NFL speed. And we've been so lucky over the last two years to see these great rookie quarterbacks with CJ Stroud, who went number two overall last year, led the Texans to the playoffs and won them a playoff game. And now we see Jaden Daniels doing the exact same thing. Former number two overall pick right behind Caleb Williams has the commanders at four and one and at the number one spot in the NFC East. But in reality, we rarely ever see this with rookie quarterbacks and them playing at such a high level. They have to go through this learning curve and that was what Caleb Williams was struggling with at the beginning and what he's still gonna be learning throughout the entire year. And he's looked really good in the pocket and this is when he can reach his most dangerous point. Coming out of the draft, everyone was so excited about Caleb Williams because he was a walking highlight. He could get outside of the pocket, make crazy throws from different arm angles. But that doesn't work for 99% of quarterbacks in the NFL on a consistent basis unless you're Patrick Mahomes. But scouts knew that if Caleb Williams can stay inside the pocket and pick defenses apart and combine that with his big playability outside of the pocket, he has the potential to be one of the best players in the NFL. Let's not forget, coming into this year, Caleb Williams was one of the most hyped up draft prospects in NFL NFL history and it's deservedly so. He has the arm strength, he has the accuracy, and he has the ability to create when the play breaks down and that's what we're finally seeing out of him. And another huge thing for this Bears offense has been finally getting DJ Moore involved. We've seen the videos of Moore looking really frustrated on the bench as he's off to the slowest start of his career. But he finally had his breakout game against his former team in the Panthers going for 105 yards and two touchdowns. And let's not forget about how great this defense is and the tremendous job that they've done carrying the load for this rookie quarterback. They single-handedly won them that week one game against the Titans when the Bears couldn't do anything on offense. In the first five weeks of the season, they're giving up the fifth fewest points per game and the seventh fewest yards per game in the entire NFL. They're also taking the ball away at a tremendously higher rate with the third most turnovers in the NFL. And coming into this year, so many people were talking about how lucky Caleb Williams was to come into this Bears offense with three great receivers in Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, more Roma Dunze, Gerald Everett, who's a tight end, and DeAndre Swift, who's a solid running back. But I think the biggest luxury for Caleb Williams is having a defense that can win you games when he's really struggling. We see so often with rookie quarterbacks, if they struggle early on in their career and the rest of the team is also bad, their clock ticks a little bit faster. But for Caleb Williams, he has the great weapons around him and he has a tremendous defense. And looking ahead right now for the Bears outside of this really good division, their schedule is very favorable. I think this Bears defense is good enough to slow down some of these great offenses in the NFC North, but ultimately the Bears' success is predicated on K 
Caleb Williams. Can he continue to get better? Can he continue to stay consistent inside of the pocket? Can he ride the highs and lows of being a rookie quarterback when he hears all the noise with how good CJ Stroud and Jaden Daniels were as rookies? I think he's gonna continue to grow and get better as a quarterback and this Bears team is looking really scary. And like I keep mentioning, everyone's talking about Jaden Daniels through the first five weeks of the season and it's deservedly so. He's been playing tremendous football. But I'm asking you, don't forget about Caleb Williams. Everyone's expecting Jaden Daniels to run away with this Offensive Rookie of the Year award, in the famous words of Lee Corso, not so fast. I think Caleb Williams down the stretch is gonna make this race really interesting. If you compare the stats right now, the passing numbers for Caleb Williams are a little bit better, but Jaden Daniels has him in the running game. The only major difference right now is that the Commanders are four and one at the top of their division, and the Bears are in a brutal division, and they're three and two right now. I bet you both of these teams are fighting for a playoff spot in December, and that's gonna determine who's gonna win this award. But for now, you can give Caleb Williams some credit. Everybody hates on the dude. He's been playing some great football and I still think he's going to be the best quarterback in this draft. I'm Caden Kubler and that's my take.